So real quick before the video starts, if you enjoy, leave a like. If you wanna see more content like this, subscribe. Getting really close to 4,000 subscribers now. I'm a little over 200 away. It's getting a bit ridiculous at this point. So if you wanna help out, if you wanna see more content, subscribe. If you wanna check out my Discord server, my Twitter, both are linked in the description. Anyway, let's get on to Miner's Haven Plus Part 5. We have been making some very good progress in this game. We've been zooming on through life 8000 right now. We're gonna just jump straight on into this. Now I've gone back to using a cell furnace setup, except with this time with a few added upgraders. I've got my newly obtained true overlord extractor right here. You've got China supporter, the data destroyer, which is the Evo of the black dwarf, China supporter and Tesla, China supporter, black dwarf, China supporter, and then the ancient magic. And you can use a black dwarf and its Evo in the same line and it doesn't count as an upgrade. So I can just make incredible amounts of money by using a cell furnace setup, and it allows me to skip 30 lives in mere seconds. It is truly incredible. Got it paired with the Dreamer's Misery, of course. This thing is a very good cell furnace. I don't have the fusion of the Dreamer's, but I think the Evo is better. Don't quote me on that. Either way, this setup is god tier. Now, I obviously have the true Overlord Extractor, but that's no longer the best mine that I have. Because while I was streaming, if you weren't here, you might not have seen this, but a couple of the devs were in my game, and they gave me what I believe is the best mine in the game right here. The Quad Ore Launcher. But let's just look at the description. You have just achieved the rarest item in the game, except from the Nitro Statue. Congrats. Yeah, I did a whole lot of, a lot of hard work and grinding for this thing right here. This was a... Uh, Real tough, but we, we we really grinded it out in the end. Look at this thing. And the, the ore value on this is just incredible. You place it down and then the server lags. No, we make instant TVG just from the mine. Alone, that skips me 19 lives. So all, all of that grinding and that whole stream for the, the true overlord extractor is just rendered pointless because I was given for free the best mine in the game. So real quick, I want to load up the setup and just put the mine into the setup instead of this thing, just to show you exactly how good it is. Throw it down right there, and then we'll see what it can do. Unfortunately, with the way the dropper works, unless I want to add more to it, I can't have him hit both of the china beams. But it's still able to make me way more. I can skip 37 lives and get a true overlord device just from, from this because of the mine. It's actually the most stupid thing. So obviously having this is a little bit unfair, and I think for now I'm not gonna be abusing it. I'm just gonna stick with my true overlord extractor. Just gonna just gonna stick with this thing that I actually earned legitimately. I, I still find it pretty funny though that I was just given the best mine in the game. Thought that was thought that was pretty interesting, pretty cool. Regardless of if I'm using it or not though, we're just zooming through the lives right now. Now, from what I've heard, Fort Sacrifice item is hot garbage. It's terrible, not worth having at all. The third sacrifice resetter is way better, but I'm gonna get it for the sake of progress, obviously. I believe it's just a furnace that has a millions multiplier, which is nothing special. But, you know, I'm not too bothered by that. Especially when you can get the data destroyer and the black dwarf working in the same line. I don't think it really matters all that much. I've also now got the true overlord extractor, which is just gonna come back to me whenever I get all my items back. And also the quad ore launcher, if I want to use that and abuse that thing. So I, I think I'm pretty set up. If you thought this game was easy before, it has somehow managed to get even easier. Because of the incredibly overpowered mines that I've obtained. Like, this setup takes me seconds to fully complete. Here's seconds for the ores to make it to the cell furnace, and I'm able to skip 30 lives. Remember, remember earlier when I said that I was excited to get to the next sacrifices because I expected more of a challenge at that point. Yeah, I'm not excited for that challenge anymore. Well, I don't know if I'd say I'm not excited. I'm still excited to get to that point, but I'm not expecting it to be much of a challenge anymore. It, it's, it's gonna be more lives. It's gonna take longer, but it's not gonna be any harder. In fact, by the time I'm next sacrifice, I'm probably gonna be able to get the Enchant True Overlord device upgrade or whatever that thing is called. And that thing is just very, very overpowered for an upgrader from what I've seen. So once I get that, I'm probably just going to be even more set up. And things are just going to continually get easier and easier. And speaking of that True Overlord device and Chan upgrader, that's probably going to be what I go for next time I stream this game. I'm probably going to be streaming on Saturday. 
of this week that the video is uploaded. And if I do stream on Saturday, I'm probably going to be grinding more True Overlord devices just to try and get that upgrader. So be on the lookout for that if you happen to see this video before that Saturday. If you watch this video after, then just disregard that entirely. I hope to see a lot of you come out to that stream. The first one was very successful. I was, I was really happy with how that did. A lot of people showed up, a lot of people enjoyed it. It was just a really good time. Oh, hey, we got another Shadow Pulsar Pillars. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a nice sip of my water here. Remember to stay hydrated, folks. Very, very important. Is there anything else that's interesting that I've got? Oh, I've gotten the, uh, the Obama Lord right here. This was a code item that was released that is, a. Uh, a pretty special dropper. It's it's pretty unique. I like the the decals that are on it. I I especially like this image. I'm a big fan of the the image on the front of the dropper there. Let me go into the Discord and grab the code real quick for you guys so that you can get it yourself. Go ahead and put it in the chat. There you go. There is the code if you guys would like to use it. it is O B M A me now. So if you want to get yourself a very cool dropper, then there's the code for it. There is a crate in my conveyors. This is unacceptable. What is happening to me? Why am I flopping now? What was that? That wasn't even a particularly high jump. Why did I just start flopping around? Yeah, whatever. Roblox physics are, uh, they're something else. Y you can't question them too much. They just kind of happen and you've got to accept them. And just like that, already a thousand lives away from being able to sacrifice. Like, I thought when I first started playing this game, when I got a Poltergeist and an Anguish right away, that that was the peak of speed, that that was incredibly fast. And then I started going more, started building better setups, had the main setup that I used for a third sacrifice, and then I discovered the China Supporter thing and thought that using a Poltergeist into an Anguish with the China Supporter Tesla was fast. And then I got a Data Destroyer and a Black Dwarf, and I've been using Dreamer's Misery with the True Overlord Extractor. And hell, I could make it even faster with the Quan War Launcher. It's just so dumb. It's so... It's so fast and dumb. Everything is so overpowered, and I love it. Just a little bit of me just loves how easy it is. I know for a lot of people it's a big turnoff. The, the lack of challenge just kind of makes a lot of people go, well, what's the point? But, you know, sometimes it's fun to just be able to play the game and mindlessly grind thousands of lives in minutes and use the most overpowered of items. Sometimes it's fun to just sit down and not have to think about your setup and just be able to put a couple billion times upgraders and then win the game. It's also nice to just be getting a lot of different stuff. It gives a different look than regular Miner's Haven right now. Since, you know, we know how updates have been going with that as of recent. It gives something new to look at. Something a little bit more fresh, a little bit more exciting. I don't know, I feel like I'm defending this game a lot, but I feel like I almost have to defend it a lot because a lot of people have been coming at me saying that it's a bad game. And I understand both perspectives on it. I understand why you would not like this game. It didn't interest me at first when I was first looking at it. Hell, when I first played it, it didn't really pique my interest all that much. I don't know, after playing it for a bit, I've been having fun with it, getting getting some of these different, more unique items, like a, a true overlord mine is pretty cool, and just having a bunch of overpowered stuff. It's not the most engaging experience at all times, but it is just a little bit of mindless fun, I think, and it's, it's a nice break from the no updates from regular Miner's Haven. I'm not gonna go on any more singing the praises of Miner's Haven Plus because I don't think it's a perfect game by any means. Definitely not my favorite, definitely not a replacement of Miner's Haven, but I do think it has its place. I'll leave it at that though. Oh yeah, one other thing. This game is doing very well views wise. So <laughs> that definitely does help my perception of the game. People are watching it and it's getting me views. So makes me a little more inclined to like the game. Okay, now I'm actually gonna leave it. Just had to go on my little, my little spiel there.
If I want to, I can just pull out that mine and start using it here for now. I think that's a... Uh... And now we're under 500 lives away. And I got a Dragon Blaster. I only have 11 of them now. Ever since the first couple sacrifices, I really lost that luck that I initially had. I really got set up on blasters those first couple sacrifices, and uh, I just haven't been able to recapture that. Prestige is where I really need it. If I can get good luck on Prestige, I'm gonna be just the most set person in the game. I guess at that point it doesn't really matter, because once I get Prestige, I'm just gonna be able to fly through lives and basically get whatever I want with enough time. I'll worry about that once Prestige comes around, though. I'm not not quite at that point where I should be worrying about my Prestige luck quite yet. Yes, I would like to rebirth and skip 27 lives. Thank you. Oh, my life right now. I'm a big fan of my life. No longer, though. For the sake of progression, we must say goodbye to the beautiful number that was my life. I like how the Immortal's Destiny has what I believe is the Gates of Hell thumbnail, but it is definitely not that when you place it down. This is a very different item than what you see in the thumbnail. We're gonna test it live right here. Apparently not because I misplaced the dropper. Maybe the testing dropper will fare better? It's the it's the exact same as the Iron Mine, so I doubt it. We'll try it though. Maybe the ores have a slightly different property. They do? They can't believe it. I'm surprised that actually worked. This upgrade is times three, though. That's that's hot garbage. That's terrible. That is just truly and honestly god awful. That's bad by even regular Miner's Haven standards. What is that doing here? Unless the testing dropper is worth three dollars by default, and it's just a broken upgrader. No, it's just a times three. Why is that even in the game? It seems like it was just completely forgotten about. Got the wrong thumbnail. It does basically nothing. It's just terrible. Got a weird conveyor. Honestly and genuinely just use useless. Ah, oh, here's another incorrect thumbnail item right here. The elemental upgrader. It looks like this weird blue octagonium mine thing that you got. You go to place it and it's just not even close to that. I don't remember what this thing does. Let's give it a little test as well. It does 200 times. That's, that is not useless. Not the best upgrader. There's obviously stuff within MH Plus that outclasses it, but... That thing is not completely useless, like a certain other upgrader that we just looked at. What other, uh, incorrect thumbnail items are there? There's a whole lot of items that just don't have thumbnails. I like how many are just completely missing thumbnails. Got the Black Dwarf and the Noob Statue, the Forgotten Garden, the Dreamer's Misery, the Oblivion Weaver, the Shadow Pulsar Pillars, the Lunatic Finder, and then the YouTuber Upgrader, the YouTube Mine, the Just the Hitbox, and the Obama Lord. And of course, you got the Data Destroyer. Very excellent thumbnail. Very fresh right here. You, you gotta love the thumbnails in this game. You know, this is one of the things that people rag on this game for. This is one of the reasons why people don't take it seriously. Because half of the item thumbnails are just missing or wrong. Like, I've made it clear that I like this game, but like... Come on, you, you gotta get you gotta get stuff like this sorted out if you want people to take it a bit more seriously. Anyway though, I'm one rebirth away from getting Ford Sacrifice, that's pretty cool. We're gonna get a garbage furnace at some point. I don't actually know what life you get it at, so I might have to play for a little bit longer and try and grind up to it. Not entirely something that I want to do, but I guess it depends on the life. Z75, that's not that bad. I can probably just open some boxes and try and get lucky with an item and grind up to that. Alright, well, Z plus 1500 is when stuff is returned. That's not bad considering at 1500 I'm gonna get my, my extractor. Alright, whatever, here we go. Let's do it. My great smash has been destroyed. This is a sad day. Alright, well I'm gonna open some boxes and then try and rebirth up to 75 so that I can show you the new item. I will be back once I have finished rebirthing. Alright, so uh, I've opened some boxes and I've gotten a Dreamer's Anguish and a Poltergeist, so I will see you guys in a couple of seconds. God, this game is stupid. Alright, one rebirth away. Alright, here we go. There's the Big Bang. All right, let's take a look at this thing. This is the item that I work towards. This is a large furnace. All right, well, this is my new sacrifice item right here. Let's just test out the multiplier real quick. I know it's bad, but I wanna see what it does.
You, you serious? You're just not gonna process the ore? Is there some special requirement for ore? Does it, do they need to be upgraded or something? Furnace took the power from everything you had and fused it into one. Okay. Well, how does it work? Because it's not processing my testing ores. You make me any money? No, you don't. Oh. Well, now? I'm so confused. Is it like an eternal journey situation where it takes like a year to process? If that's the case, then it's even more atrocious than I thought it was. It also only made me 314k. Yeah, this thing seems like it's hot garbage. Good thing I got my true overlord extractor. There's your, uh, there's garbage furnace right there. Uh, fourth sacrifice is done. I'm gonna keep on progressing through the game. Hopefully see you guys on Saturday when I, when I stream. I will have, by that point, made a little bit of progress and I'll be at the point where I can get the true overlord upgrader, whatever the enchant is called. Thank you everyone for watching. Remember to subscribe, we're almost at 4k. Very cool stuff. I will see you in the next episode of whatever it is that I do. Probably Miner's Haven Plus, because that's all my channel is at this point. Until the Miner's Haven update. I'm rambling, I'll see you in the next one, bye.